craving excitement? South Korean cinema is the go-to destination. In 2023, South Korean action films stand among the world's finest, surpassing Hollywood's overflow of uninspired sequels. We've gathered the top Korean action movies of 2023. Let's dive into the action. Kicking things off at number 10 is Night of the Assassin. Night of the Assassin takes us on a journey through the world of a once feared assassin. Played by Shin Hyun Joon, who is forced to step away from his lethal lifestyle due to a heart condition. The movie benefits from a strong and engaging performance by Shin Hyun Joon, whose screen presence remains captivating even after a two-decade hiatus from the swordplay genre. His transformation from a feared killer to a somewhat comical figure adapting to a peaceful life is one of the film's highlights adding depth and dimension to his character. Fright of the Assassin manages to deliver an enjoyable viewing experience, thanks in large part to Shin Hyun Joon's performance and the film's shift from darkness to humor. It may not be a high-budget action extravaganza, but it offers a unique take on the assassin genre, making it a worthy addition to Korean action cinema in 2023. Coming in at number 9 is The Point Men. This film explores a harrowing incident from 2007 involving a group of 23 Christian missionaries who ignored government warnings and traveled to Afghanistan, only to be captured and held for ransom by the Taliban, directed by Yim Soon Rai. Known for her work in different genres, this politically charged thriller delves into the tense negotiations that took place to secure the hostages' release. The cinematography is by turns lovely and interesting, but the incessant politicking and piling failures make it slow going. But while the point about how countries make decisions in crisis is worth raising, it's a slog to get there. I think that's probably how a day in international government relations feels as well. At number eight, we have The Moon. The Moon emerges as the latest Korean big screen offering, drawing inspiration from the plot of The Silent Sea, which revolves around a mission to the moon. It's December 2029, and there's a global race to be the second nation to reach the moon, driven by the need to research its water and hydrogen resources for sustainable energy on Earth. Korea had attempted a moon mission five years earlier, resulting in a tragic spaceship explosion that claimed all on board. This failure led to Korea's expulsion from the International Space Committee, forcing the nation to undertake its second attempt independently. The stakes are high for Korea, and as with any disaster movie, when things can go wrong, they inevitably do. In summary, The Moon is a notable addition to the Korean sci-fi genre in 2023, Thanks to its impressive visual effects and exploration of a high-stakes lunar mission. In the seventh spot, Phantom takes us into the shadowy world of espionage. Set against the backdrop of the Japanese colonial era, Phantom delves into a high-stakes narrative unfolding within the confines of a secluded hotel. In this intense thriller, suspicions run deep as every hotel guest is regarded as a potential spy known as the Phantom. These individuals are believed to have been planted by the Korean Independence Army to gather critical intelligence from deep within the government. Apted from a Chinese novel by GMI, which was later made into the Chinese movie The Message, Phantom shares some similarities with its Chinese counterpart. However, it distinguishes itself by taking a different narrative approach, revealing the identity of the spy from the outset and focusing on the mission to secure the intel. Phantom stands out as one of the noteworthy Korean action films of 2023, offering a unique blend of psychological suspense and adrenaline-pumping action. For those seeking a film that combines espionage thrills with intense action, Phantom delivers a captivating and action-packed ride. At number six, we have Kill Bok Soon. Kill Bok Soon is an exciting action movie from South Korea that you can watch on Netflix. While it's a bit long at two hours and 17 minutes, it keeps you entertained all the way through. The story is about a woman named Gil Bok Soon, played by Jean Duyeon. She's a middle-aged mom, but she secretly works as a top assassin. She's really good at figuring out how to get out of tough situations, and the movie sometimes shows her thinking ahead. But the story gets even more exciting when her daughter, Jay Young, has a secret too. He's dating her best friend, which gets her into trouble. The movie has lots of action scenes, and the director, Byun Sung Hyun, does a great job with them. Everything comes together really well at the end, 
and it leaves room for a sequel, which is exciting. Kill Bok Soon is on Netflix, and it's a fantastic mix of action, emotions, and storytelling that makes it one of the best Korean action movies of 2023. No Way Out, The Roundup. No Way Out, with Ma Dong Seok's charismatic performance and well-executed action scenes. Claiming the number four spot is Ransomed. Ransomed is a movie based on a true story from 1986 in Lebanon. It's about a South Korean diplomat who gets kidnapped. The government can't find him or the people who took him. Then, one day, the missing diplomat calls another diplomat named Min Joon. Min Joon decides to pay the ransom and rescue him, but things get dangerous from the moment Min Joon arrives in Lebanon. He has to rely on a Korean taxi driver named Pan Su, who might not be as trustworthy as he seems. The movie has exciting action scenes and funny moments because of the two main characters, Min Joon and Pan Su. The actors, Ha Jung Woo and Ju Ji Hoon, work really well together and make the movie enjoyable. The film looks great because they filmed in Morocco, which looked like Lebanon. Overall, Ransomed is a fun and thrilling movie. It has great action and a fantastic duo at its center. That's why it's one of the best Korean action movies in 2023. At number three, we have Smugglers. Smugglers takes us back to 1970s Korea, when the country was isolated from the world and people relied on a black market for goods like American cigarettes and Ritz crackers. This illegal trade was mainly run by men, but it couldn't have thrived without the unique skills of a group of women known as Hanyeo, who were expert divers retrieving contraband from the sea. The story focuses on Shunja, played by Kim Hai-soo, who partners with the ruthless smuggler, played by Zhu In-sung, to revive their smuggling scheme. To do so, Kunja has to win over the other divers, including her best friend Jin Suk, played by Yum Jung Ah, who had been imprisoned while Chunja escaped. Smugglers is filled with twists, betrayals, and alliances with intricate double crosses reminiscent of Guy Ritchie's style. The film has a stylish and visually engaging look, thanks to DP Choi Young Hwan's vibrant cinematography. Smugglers may have its flaws, but its unique concept strong performances, and thrilling action sequences make it one of the standout Korean action movies of 2023. Our runner-up at number two is The Child. The Child follows the story of Marco Han, a Copino, which refers to children of mixed Filipino and Korean heritage. Marco is facing financial struggles, trying to cover his mother's medical bills while working as an underground boxer. Unexpectedly, he's summoned to South Korea with the promise of meeting his birth father, hoping to find a solution to his financial woes. However, Marco's journey takes a dark turn as he becomes the target of dangerous individuals who want him dead. What was supposed to be a simple meeting with his father transforms into a life-threatening cat-and-mouse game with relentless hired assassins. The Childy is a movie that keeps you guessing about how it will all end in a captivating way. The Childy earns a solid four out of five stars for its steady pacing, intriguing plot, and an unexpected twist. It keeps viewers engaged from start to finish. If you haven't watched it yet, The Child is definitely worth checking out for its gripping narrative and standout performances by the cast. It's a notable addition to the Korean action movie scene in 2023, and finally, claiming the top spot at number one is Concrete Utopia. Concrete Utopia kicks off with a vibrant montage, setting the stage for South Korea's official entry in the Best International Feature category at the Academy Awards. Concrete Utopia is a thought-provoking Korean film that delves into the human psyche when faced with extreme post-apocalyptic conditions. Based a story unfolds in a single-standing apartment building in a ruined city after a catastrophic earthquake, where survivors seek refuge. The story focuses on one remaining apartment complex and the moral dilemma of whether to allow non-residents inside for safety. The film centers on three characters, the self-serving Yang Tak, the compassionate Ma Young Kwak Wai, and the conflicted Min Song. As power dynamics shift and moral choices are made, the film examines humanity and socioeconomic disparities in a time of crisis. The production team deserves accolades for creating a realistic and harrowing setting with a massive three-story film set and attention to detail 
that brings the ruined city to life. In summary, Concrete Utopia is a must-watch for those seeking a thought-provoking post-apocalyptic tale that delves into the complexities of human nature. It stands out as one of the best Korean action films of 2023, offering a haunting and immersive experience. There you have it, guys, our top 10 best Korean action movies of 2023 so far. Have you seen any of these movies yet? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with the latest and greatest in the world of cinema. Thanks for joining us today and we'll see you in the next video.